Evening, Jenkins. Uh, evening, Barnaby. What kept you? Well, I was driving about today when a car got in my way and intruded upon my worth and dignity. Your dignity? My dignity! <laughs> and so this story goes, I'll elaborate in prose, if you'll assist me with the melody. <clears throat> on the piano forte? Well, not on the bloody violin. <laughs> when you're quite ready. See what you can do. <laughs> I signal my appeal to the man behind the wheel With my middle digit pointed up to heaven His tires speak rather loudly As he stopped and leapt out proudly And before me stood a giant of six foot seven Indeed So I opened up my door And took my rifle from the floor And lined it up squarely with his cock and as he stood there trembling, I found myself remembering the poor old chap I'd shot the week before. <laughs> chap in the range room. Oh, ghastly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. ghastly. <laughs> and as his fears arose, the tears dripped down his nose, and a smile to make its way across my face. I shot him once, I shot him twice, I shot him right between the eyes. <laughs> Quite right. And as his corpse began to slump, he became a lifeless lump. And with his blood, the streets turned ruby red. Ruby red. So take this warning here. You'd better drive about with fear, lest another driver crosses me again. You mean if you change lanes, we don't indicate? Or drive and masturbate. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, Jenkins, we've, we've all done it. <laughs> she has. <laughs> we've all done it. We don't talk about it. All right, well, if you do, you'll find yourself squarely in my sights. But all good driving folk, my wrath will not provoke. Unless you cut me off and then you're fucked. <laughs> but you don't discriminate. All bad drivers you do hate. Yes, I've killed the old, the pregnant, and the poor. The poor. Always the poor, my good man. Could easily have been each one of you. 